Hi, I'm Tim Costello, and uh, welcome to this year's AGTA conference uh, with its theme of uh, New Frontiers in Geography. Uh, I'm so sorry I can't be with you in Perth. I know it's going to be a fantastic conference, and when you think of uh, the very apt new title for the curriculum of uh, Geography Across Australia, a wonderful time to stop and reflect that uh, this is really the core subjects that our students need to function for the rest of their lives. What it means to be a global citizen, uh, to have a sense of place, to have a sense of understanding of the big issues of security and urbanisation and water that uh, will sustain them or won't. So um, I am very proud that uh, as a patron that this new curriculum uh, gives uh, a great opportunity. I'm equally proud that uh, World Vision with AGTA and AusAid has uh, been pioneering uh, a set of four case studies, Australia's engagement with Indonesia and a DVD, uh, targeting years six to 10. In many villages, women bring the betel nut branch or a bucket to collect water from the well. We have to walk a long distance, maybe one to two hours through the forest to get the water. Sometimes we get to the well and it would be dry. The Water Management Committee meets every three months and my responsibility is to coordinate the group. Each meeting, we make sure that we clean the water source and environment around the pipeline, maintain the pipelines and repair leaks, and manage the finances to keep the project sustainable. As former Prime Minister Paul Keating uh, reminded us, uh, our future is not just in Asia, but particularly with Indonesia. He said our strategic bread is buttered up in Indonesia. I'm just back from there, 240 million people, huge issues around urbanisation. I was in Surabaya, the second biggest city, developing a child-friendly city that World Vision's engaged in there. But massive issues of uh, poverty and homelessness and water security. And uh, I see those issues around Indonesia. On the island of Sumba that I visited, um, I was staggered to discover that slavery still exists. Literally, masters, rajas own, as personal property, slaves. Uh, when I challenged uh, even the local mayor about that, um, he looked a bit embarrassed, but he said, well, the slaves are happy. They're not complaining. Uh, we've heard these arguments in history before. Uh, there, we are challenging some cultural practices uh, where people go into 10 years' debt for a funeral or for a wedding, and their children are unfed. We're reforesting. We are doing water because it's very dry in uh, East Sumba. So uh, I'm excited that years six to 10 will be seeing this DVD and studying these case studies to give them sensitivity. And can I personally congratulate you on this new resource uh, that you've uh, produced, uh, Educational Resources Australian Geog Space Site. I know it's gonna be just a fantastic resource and well done. As you can tell, my work with World Vision gives us just natural synergy with geography teachers and we are absolutely committed to uh, what you teach, how you shape young minds, how you give them the skills and the tools to actually be who they should be in our world. Overcoming xenophobia and fear, understanding our region particularly. Uh, hopefully they'll be learning Asian languages like Indonesian also. So again, Apologies that I'm not with you. I think it's a really exciting, significant conference and uh, the Geography New Frontiers gives us great scope to advance the sort of world that we all believe in. Have a great conference.